Homo sapiens have roamed the land. We've built cities, created complex languages, and sent robotic scouts to other planets. It's difficult to imagine it all coming to an end. Yet 99% of all species that ever lived have gone extinct, including every one of our hominid ancestors. Human activity is severely disrupting almost all life on the planet, which surely doesn't help matters. The current rate of extinction is, by some estimates, 10,000 times the average on the fossil record. At present, we may worry about snail dutters and red squirrels in abstract terms, but the next statistic on the list could be us. Number 10. Rogue Black Holes Their gravity is so strong they swallow everything, even the light that might betray their presence. These objects orbit just like other stars, meaning that it is not terribly likely that one is headed our way. But if a normal star were moving towards us, we'd know it. With a black hole, there is little warning. The black hole wouldn't have to come all that close to Earth to bring ruin just passing through the solar system would distort all the planet's orbits. Earth might get drawn into an elliptical path that would cause extreme climate swings. Or it might be ejected from the solar system and go hurtling to a frigid fate in deep space. Number 9. Solar Storms Our advanced interconnected world depends on fast electronic connections between people in different countries powered by the electricity grid, connections that the sun could easily knock out. Our star regularly has Earth-sized storms on its surface that end up ejecting dangerous radiation and particles into space. Mostly, these dangerous bits of energy head off into space, away from us. But once in a while, the Earth might get in the way. If that were to happen, you can kiss goodbye to the internet and your electricity supply. Banks and governments would not be able to function. Satellites would be blinded. A storm on the sun could take us back to the Stone Age. Number 8. Global Pandemic In 1918, the world was recovering from four devastating years of war when the infamous Spanish influenza struck. Within six months, the virus had made its way around the world and killed around 50 million people, with most of the dead aged between 20 and 45. And that was at a time when the fastest way to get between continents was a ship. In the jet age, a lethal virus could spread from one side of the world to the other in less than a day and infect hundreds of millions, perhaps even billions of people. With so many people ill or dying, society would fall on its knees and the entire economy would collapse. Number 7. Cyber War We live in a networked world. Computers not only give us useful information whenever we want it, they take control of our banks, power grids, and keep our supermarket shelves stocked. If a lone hacker managed to get into that and mess things around without power or computers, how long before cities are overrun with fear and crime? Without electricity, banks cannot give out money. Hospitals cannot look after the sick, and building security is gone. If that happened to lots of countries at once, we would have been hacked back into the first half of the 21st century. Modern humans could live without networked computers, but we've chosen to forget how to do so. Number 6. Nuclear War Not only is the tension high between many of the countries around the world, but a record number of them are armed with nuclear bombs, nine to be exact, and only five of them have a nuclear non-proliferation treaty, leaving four countries doing whatever they want with them, including North Korea. 
Studies have shown that if worldwide nuclear war broke out and 100 bombs were launched, it would create a nuclear winter with record low temperatures and severe impacts on the surviving population. If 1,000 bombs were launched, it is estimated that most, if not all of the world's population would be killed in the war. Number 5. Biological Warfare it may sound like something straight out of Hollywood, but biological warfare possesses a very real and dangerous threat. Anthrax may have been wildly hyped in the past, but in reality, it remains an effective means of taking out large swaths of the population. Weaponized in the form of aerosol particles of 1.5 to 5 microns, it could cause fatalities in 90% of the population. Things don't stop at toxins like anthrax either. Bear in mind that even though it might take more than a day, an engineered avian flu could kill half the world's humans. A cursory glance at a list of officially recognized institutions involved in biological warfare research suggests that this is something that we should definitely be worried about. Number 4. Global Warming the Earth is getting warmer, and scientists mostly agree that humans bear some blame. It's easy to see how global warming could flood cities and ruin harvests. More recently, researchers like Paul Epstein of Harvard Medical School have raised the alarm that a balmier planet could also assist in the spread of infectious disease by providing a more suitable climate for parasites and spreading the range of tropical pathogens that could include crop diseases, which, combined with substantial climate shifts, might cause famine. Effects could be even more dramatic. At present, atmospheric gases trap enough heat close to the surface to keep things comfortable. Increase the global temperature a bit, however, and there could be a bad feedback effect with water evaporating faster, freeing water vapor, a potent greenhouse gas, which traps more heat, which drives carbon dioxide from rocks, which drives temperatures still higher. Earth could end up much like Venus, where the high on a typical day is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. It would probably take a lot of warming to initiate such a runaway greenhouse effect, but scientists have no clue where exactly the tipping point lies. Number 3. Overpopulation The Earth's population is growing on a logarithmic scale, or at an ever-increasing rate. And while many people think that the problem will correct itself over the next 50 years, as science finds way to more efficiently use our planet's limited resources, if we don't, we could find billions of people dying of starvation and fighting for the Earth's last banana. Number 2. Climate Catastrophe This is the time of year India is most vulnerable to being hit by cyclones, killing at least three people, uprooting trees Almost and no serious and scientists now doubt that human carbon emissions are having an effect on the planet's climate. The latest report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change suggested that containing temperature rises to below 2 degrees above the pre-industrial average is now unlikely, and that we face a future 3 or 4 degrees warmer than today. This will not literally end the world, but humanity will need all the resources at its disposal to cope with such a dramatic shift. Unfortunately, the effect of climate change will start to really kick in just at the point when human population is expected to peak, at about 9 billion by the middle of this century. Millions of mostly poor people face losing their homes to sea level rises by up to a meter or more by 2100, and shifting weather patterns may disrupt agriculture dramatically. Number 1. Artificial Intelligence Perhaps the most discussed apocalyptic threat of the moment, this refers to the development of machines and software with human-level intelligence. Such intelligences could not easily be controlled, either by the groups creating them or some international body, and would probably be able to boost their own intelligence. And if they decide humanity is of no value, to build a world without humans. But such artificial intelligence could easily combat most other risks in the report, 
making it a tool of great potential. At the moment, no one knows whether there is a real risk of extreme machine intelligence and the researchers therefore give it a wide estimate of probability.